Hello and welcome. A number of our members have asked about having communion services during this time of pandemic, and we had to give it a little bit of thought, uh, but we thought the best way to do this would be to offer this recorded virtual communion service in which you provide um, what the deacons ordinarily do for you when you attend church with us. Usually the deacons put together uh, the, the juice that we share together, the cup and the bread. Uh, in this recording, I am using a, a roll that I happen to have in my kitchen and then just juice that we had in the refrigerator. Uh, when Jesus was doing his last supper with his disciples, he was likely uh, doing a Passover meal, which means he would have been sharing matzah with them. Matzah is very much like saltine crackers without the salt. It's that unrisen bread. So you can use a cracker or any kind of bread at all is fine. He calls it uh, the bread of life. His body is the bread. It's a pun in Hebrew, which does not come through in English. So any bread or cracker kind of substance is fine. The cup, of course, that he was using, uh, we would call that a watered down wine that they were drinking together. You can use any juice or, um, or wine uh, beverage of your choice. We're thinking that you might like to use this service in your household with the people that you are sheltering in place with. You could also use it on a Zoom meeting. You can play the recording on the Zoom meeting and then take communion with the people on that meeting together. We hope that you enjoy it and we hope that you are doing what you need to do to support your own health in this time and those around you. Blessings. Jesus Christ. 
Come not because you are strong, but in your frailty and in your sin. You stand in God, constant need of God's mercy and care. The table of Christ is set before us. Therefore, let us lift up our hearts and minds above all selfish fears and cares, and let this supper of our Savior be for our comfort. Will you pray with me? Eternal and loving God, we unworthy sinners approaching your presence and beholding your glory confess our transgressions we have sinned we have grievously sinned against you in thought word and deed we have broken with your will for our lives and have not lived up to be the people you have created us to be yet now most merciful god have compassion upon us for the sake of Jesus Christ, forgive us all our sins. Deliver us by your Holy Spirit. Enable us gladly to forgive one another as we ask you to forgive us and to serve you from now on in newness of life. In remembrance of your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and the cup. Make them be for us the body and blood of our Redeemer, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed and made true by Christ's very blood. In Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth, he tells us that it was on the very night of our Lord's betrayal that he took bread from the table and blessed it and broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, this is my body broken for you. In the same manner when they had eaten, Christ took the cup from the table, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, This cup is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we show forth the Lord's death, and his power over death until he comes again in glory. As Christ shared the bread with his disciples, I invite you now to share the bread as well. This is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. In the same manner when they had eaten, Christ took the cup and gave it to his disciples. I invite you where you are to share this cup. This is the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Let us drink the cup together. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise your holy name for your wonderful goodness to us in permitting us to proclaim the death and the resurrection of our Redeemer and to receive through this sacrament the communion of Christ's body and blood. Therefore, we humbly ask you to enable us to live no longer just for ourselves, but now for Christ who died for us and lives again in us. May we rise this Easter season with Christ, sustained and inspired by your Spirit. Amen.
笑。